Welcome back to Great Day. Many of you know anytime you get a shot, there's always a possibility of some mild side effects, and that's the same with the COVID-19 vaccine. So what are the most common side effects people are experiencing, and are they the same for both shots? We are happy to have Dr. Hillary Babcock with us this morning. She's a Washington University Infectious Disease Specialist at BJC Healthcare. She joined us on the show just about a year ago right now, and you are back with the answers to these questions. So good to see you, Dr. Babcock. Thanks, good to be here. First question for you, what are the side effects of the vaccine? So many people who get the vaccine will not have any side effects at all, like with many other vaccines as well. Um, the most common side effects are that people have a little soreness in their arm after they get the vaccine. Um, and some people will have um, some aches or some low grade fever um, and may feel tired and fatigued and just overall not feeling very well. Um, these side effects are um, not unexpected. They are part of your immune response to the vaccine. And because your immune response is stronger after the second dose than after the first dose, because it's had a little chance to do this already, these um, side effects may be more common after the second dose. I'm so glad you explained that because even in my personal life, I've heard people who have been fully vaccinated who have said, man, I feel like I, I feel just a little bit worse after the second one than the first one. These side effects are normal, that they are just showing that your body is mounting a good immune response. And I may have done too good a job because now I have people asking me, like, I didn't have any side effects. Am I actually protected? Did my immune system mm -hmm. still respond? And, and the answer is yes. Um, like your immune system still worked and it's just a different experience mm -hmm. for different people. But either way, whether you have these symptoms or you don't, um, you will be fully protected. And even if we talk about a, a, a higher rate of these kinds of side effects, mostly pretty mild, but a higher rate than we are used to seeing maybe after an influenza vaccine, mm -hmm. still the vast majority of people won't have any. Most people will be fine, maybe have a sore arm. Um, so those people are also protected and, and completely fine. Do you think we're going to see any maybe drive through vaccine sites open? I think that there have been these, the mass vaccination um, clinics have been done around the country in a lot of different creative ways. And some of them have been able to do drive-through sites even using that 15 minutes of observation. Um, and they have people stay in their car. They tell them to honk if they're not feeling well. Um, they have people sort of walking among the cars to be sure that everyone is okay. Some of them have used post-it notes on windshields mm -hmm. so that they know exactly what time they can release you um, to go. Dr. Babcock, thank you so much. And we will post a link to pre-register for your COVID-19 vaccine to our website, kmov.com slash great day right after the show.